nice and quiet on our Tuesday morning. Temperature sitting right at the freezing mark. We have winds out of the south around 9 miles per hour. Looking at area temperatures to get our day started. Numbers in the upper 20s for Salina and Minster, the colder spots as well as upper Sandusky, but the rest of us do sit in the lower 30s to get our day started. So definitely an improvement from yesterday when we saw temperatures in the low 20s and even a few spots in the teens. So we recovered from that really cold air mass that we were dealing with over the weekend, and now we're going to continue to see a milder pattern the rest of the week. But uh, fortunately, the mild weather doesn't all come with good news. I wish I could say it's going to be warm, it's going to be sunny, but as we continue to warm up, we start to run into rain chances and plentiful chances of rain for the remainder of the work week after today. So today, get out there. I would say today's the best day of the work week. We remain dry, mostly clear skies right now, but clouds will be on the increase from the southwest today. So gradually we'll start to see clouds kind of gradually fill up the skies this afternoon. Again, temperatures starting off in those low 30s, and we'll see highs today bouncing back even warmer than yesterday's high of 50. We'll make it up to about double nickels for Lima this afternoon, 55 degrees, and then not as cool tonight. We'll see lows in those lower 40s thanks to the south flow thanks to clouds and some showers moving through all working to keep those numbers elevated overnight and then tomorrow again pretty similar to today we'll have highs back in those mid 50s so our skycast again showing that gradual thickening of the clouds today but overall it's going to be nice out there so if you want to get out there run some errands go for a walk today's a good day to do that because the coming days is going to become more challenging to enjoy the outdoors because of just how much rain we're going to be experiencing here. Starting to see showers begin to break out later this evening around 9, 10 p.m. We'll have scattered light rain overnight tonight. Nothing that's heavy, but it will be damp out there getting our Wednesday started. Tomorrow we'll continue to see very overcast, gloomy skies, but not a whole lot of rain tomorrow. So we'll still have a lot of dry hours on Wednesday, and then we'll see more in the way of rain break out Wednesday night into Thursday. We'll see, actually, I think getting into Thursday morning before sunrise, we'll have some heavier pockets, some pretty good thunderstorms moving through. Not severe, but there could be quite a lightning show for parts of the area. So some loud rumbles of thunder Thursday morning. That certainly feels and sounds like spring. Uh, we'll continue to see the chances for showers and thunderstorms on Thursday, kind of on a scattered basis. We'll have this front draped over the area and that could provide some locally heavy rain showers as we go throughout Thursday as well. That front will push south and we'll get possibly a break Thursday night through a decent chunk of Friday. Uh, it depends where this front stalls. It just kind of lays out here to our south. Most of that rain may stay just south of us on Friday. So again, we'll have to watch the exact placement of that. But then there will be another system riding along that front, an upper low that's going to ride in Friday night and Saturday. And it does look very active as we go into Saturday's forecast with rain likely and likely some very gusty winds as well. In fact, depending upon the track of this low, we could see wind gusts over 40 miles per hour on Saturday. So with the rain and the wind, the bottom line is Saturday does not look like a nice day at this point. So how much rain, that is the question, and it's going to come down to the placement of that front that I talked about where it stalls from Thursday night through Friday night. But we see the heavier potential showing up to the south. This is one of the forecast models we look at showing from Dayton down towards Columbus, Cincinnati, a corridor of nearly four inches of rain and even up to five inches of rain as you go towards southern Indiana with about two inches or a little bit more in our area. Now, the European model, not quite as heavy because it does suggest that front would push a little further south Thursday night and keep us drier on Friday. So we don't have as much residence time when it comes to the rainfall. So it keeps us kind of on a lower around an inch to two inches. So that would be more manageable. So I would say at this point, one to three inches of rain is likely with this system. Again, we have quite the active stretch of weather here. Temperatures our warmest day comes Thursday in the mid-60s. We cool down behind that front on Friday, and then we'll look at a finally dry day on Sunday with highs in the 50s. But there will be another weaker system on Monday, bringing another chance for showers.